Bangladesh are also a world-class batting unit, um, so it's very difficult. You know, Shakib and Litton both got picked up in the IPL. Um, Talukdar has had a, has come off the back of a really, really good BPL. So, um, you know, it's hard. The guys are the guys are finding it hard to bowl to them, of course. Um, but we also have world-class performers with the ball too. You know, Mark Adair has been brilliant for us for 24 months now. Um, and again, we, we just want to show more than we have done so far in this trip. Um, but there's certainly no doubt from, from our end, from the coaching staff, there's no doubt that, that we have it in the tank. No, I, don't, I, I, think it's, I think Bangladesh are a very good team in Bangladesh as well, even more so. You know, even in, in other conditions, they've shown now that they are a good team. And, you know, we have to remember as well that they've just beaten England 3-0. Like, it's not... This isn't a surprise that Bangladesh are now a good side and we're finding it challenging. Um, but we're also a good side and we, um, and we fully expect to show better than what we have done so far um, in these next two T20 internationals. Yeah? Um, I wouldn't say they're surprising us because for a couple of years now they've, they've been very good. You know, Ebedot and Taskin um, are clearly very good bowlers. Um, and I, I do think there's less in this wicket for, for Pacers than, um, than there was up in Sillet. Uh, but clearly they, um, there's been a, a, a change of tactic um, from Bangladesh in terms of preparation of pitches for, for white ball games. Um, and yeah, I think their, their bowlers have been, have been bowling pretty well, which they're allowed to do. Um, I, I think they bowl well so far, the, the whole series. Um, and, and it's certainly something that we'll have to contend with going into tomorrow as well. Yeah, I think it's going to be a, a similar wicket. Uh, obviously, same start time. Uh, and like I said, you know, we, we do think it's going to be a, a relatively high scoring game again. And, um, you know, we've, we're confident that uh, we have good players to go out and, and express themselves. You know, we've got, we got to remember that we haven't turned into a bad batting side overnight. We, these guys are good players, you know. Um, Paul Sterling has played all around the world. He's a world-class player. Harry Tector is a world-class player. We have guys that are more than capable. We just haven't shown it so far in this trip. And I, and, and I know those batters, um, having worked with them closely, I know they've still got, they're still full of confidence. Um, and, and they're ready to show the rest of the world that actually they are good players and that and we've just had a bit of a blip over the last week or so. Um, I think it was a good wicket yesterday. It was certainly favoured. Um, we, we certainly had the best of the conditions. I, I think uh, we could have potentially exploited it a little bit better up front yesterday. Um, and I think if we had our time again, we might have gone about it slightly different. Having said that, I thought our, our seamers came back pretty well towards the end of the innings. Uh, at one stage, Bangladesh we were on for a total win, well in excess of 220, um, and we managed to drag it back okay. Um, I think if we get a similar wicket again, maybe around 170 might be about par. I wouldn't say there's pace and bounce in this wicket. I, I would say there was pace and bounce in the wicket at Silet. Um, I, again, I wouldn't necessarily say it was unexpected because uh, we've played in Silet before, we've played there in an A tour, we've played there um, in the 2014 World Cup and we knew it was going to be slightly different from Mirpur, so it wasn't that we, we haven't done our homework and we didn't know that the, the, the pace attack was going to be there. I just think that Bangladesh bowled very, very well, which they're allowed to do. and. And unfortunately, in the two ODIs in Sillet, we didn't quite have the answer for it. I thought yesterday our guys with the bat actually did okay. We, well, I think maybe 84 we got in our, in our eight overs, just over 10 and over. Um, and, and I think Bangladesh got slightly above par total. So um, I think our batters actually bounced back and showed that the fight and the, the fearless cricket that we want to play yesterday. And unfortunately, we didn't just come off. Coach, uh, next to the they are listed today as your team practicing great work. What's the uh, no, those were the, the, the guys that were practicing today were the test players. They're not in the in the T20 squad. So that was the four guys that are playing just have just arrived for to play test cricket. So the guys who played yesterday had a day off today. It's been a, a grueling tour so far uh, with with a long time still to go. So it's important that the guys stay fresh as well. So the practice today was mainly centered around the test match for the guys that aren't involved in the T20 squad. And what's the plan about this match? Because if you lost this match, you lost the series. Yeah, we're going to try and win it.